And then uh, obviously on the Catterall and Pro. Man, uh, shout out to Regis, bro. You know, I, I picked him to win the fight. Louisiana guy. Just uh, I thought early on, I think the first five, I might, I think I had Regis up. Then it started to turn. And it, very boring fight overall. Very, very, very underwhelming. Uh, is this how I do <laughs> with two softballs versus softballs? Because I'm like, bro, what are y'all doing? Everybody scared to throw the left hand. <sighs> Uh, it's Get just, up. We just jab and touch all night. So this is what I think. I think Catterall has a style that's more so based off of timing. Yes. And if you oh, see, he's Re about hit and not get hit. Right. And Regis throws a lot of feints mm -hmm. before he punches, after he punches, the foot feints, everything. Foot be moving. For me, that was beautiful boxing. When you going overseas and you got to keep the fight clean. Okay. When you got to keep that the a thing, huh? Is that a thing overseas? With keeping the fight clean. The thing that you know when you fight overseas is usually oh, you can't okay. win a decision. Okay. You can't win oh, a decision. Okay. It happens. Okay. You can win decisions, but you know a lot of times that's the risk. And when they come over here, when anybody mm. come over here, when you, whenever you go to somebody else's don't, country, don't, yeah. you get feel it. like I'm gotcha. not gonna get the fair shake. You know what I mean? So for the for from that standpoint, I felt like Regis was fighting smart. Mm. Keep the fight slow. Keep the fight clean. A lot of feints. A lot of foot feints. In my yeah. personal opinion, it was beautiful boxing from a guy we see uh, limited. From a guy we see that's limited. Okay, he brought out a little more yeah. than you thought he... Okay. And and he used his feet a little bit more. Yeah. My man said... <laughs> my man was hey, using his feet to get inside. I think I had him win the first five. Yeah. I, 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 the first five? I'm sorry, the first four. I, I think I had him win the first four. Okay, yeah. He might have dropped... He might have dropped one in between. Yeah. I think I had him up 4-1 after five. I think uh, after five, three, two. Okay. Which is, yeah, right there. Right there. And then so. uh, the, the tides start to turn. Man. And, and I, but I'm like, you still having... Like, he's winning the rounds, and I felt Jack was having moments. But it was enough, not enough to win still the round. That's how but I felt. overseas... Yeah, yeah, they not going yeah. for that. Yeah, the scores were wide at the end, as we could see. Yeah, but here's the thing, and I know that he addressed it after the fight, and then he dropped him. He said, "I can't." Yeah, he said. So his knockdown, uh, and I, um, I, I like the replays that they show. His knockdown landed on yeah. the shoulder, hey. and it seemed like it was just that situation it's where you you moment, ran into a stiff yeah. punch, and you know they say but it was on, a, he was on the. Whatever in the ring. It was a legit knockdown, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I got to make sure people understand the scoring uh, areas from here <laughs> to here. Like, like people this like, nah, he ain't hit him in a... He yeah. hit him here? Or he hit him here? Yeah. That's not knocked down. It don't matter if <laughs> you punch hey, him in the he chest. He just don't count. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah. don't count. Yeah, all of that is a, is a scoring <laughs> area. You know what I mean? So, um, but for me, it was like after that knockdown... It seemed like obviously Jack felt like he had to turn it up, mm -hmm. and I didn't hear what was said in the corner. But it seemed like between him turning it up, and the thing that uh, Regis said after the fight is, "I can't do twelve no more." Damn. In essence, what I feel, Damn. I saw, and what I feel is going on is he can't stand in the kitchen no more. It's too hot in the kitchen now. When it get hot. We shut down, bro. Like our bodies don't re respond the same. Our our, our 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 mental approach ain't the same. And you know, I was trying to watch. I watched it. Some I watched. Let's see. I watched the first half before I was told that he lost the fight and what he said after the fight. Gotcha, gotcha. So now I, st I actually started watching with a different eye. Like, oh, wow. where do I see this tide change? Where do I see your you your, see? your your mental makeup change and your, Seven, and your eight? all that kind of stuff. It was like the eighth round. It seemed like that mouth just kind of started to stay open. It seemed like he started intentionally sucking in air. And I was like, it ain't changed that much, bro. Like, stay calm. Mm -hmm. He he couldn't stay calm. <laughs> That's what I saw. Saw to me. It seemed to me like he couldn't stay calm. And this is what I'll take you guys back to what. And I, I hope I'm not giving away any secrets. But because it was said on the podcast, I feel like I can say it. Um, uh, uh, Caleb's coach, uh, 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 Breadman. Bread yeah, Breadman said that they're working on keeping Caleb calm. He says sometimes, you know, he gets a little too excited. It's not that he's not, he doesn't have good condition. It's just sometimes he gets a little too excited. He says, Sean, you know, if that heartbeat 
is is blowing. going too hard. Can't yeah. Blow too early, yeah. Yeah. And it seemed to me like his heart, he couldn't control that heart. And it just started to butt to be a little harder than he wanted it to, and he couldn't control it, you know. So Yeah, it's like playing any sports when your coach just calm down, like you guys too amped up. Yeah. Relax. Yo. Shout out to uh Jameis Winston. That boy, he he came back out and look, he Calmed it down. I was like, okay, I like that. I like I, I that. I end up back on the rounds. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, but shout out to Regis. A uh, solid career, man. I think the best fight, win, lose, or draw was Regis and Josh Taylor. They gave us a classic fight. Yeah. That's one of the things I always remember about Regis' career. Yeah. Uh, he says he might be done. We talked about that too yesterday. Uh-huh. Did he peak too soon? Woo! Uh, Sean, you can't he's say... 30- now he's 32, 33. He's 35. Oh, he's 35. So he picked, My age is all off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tripping he's 35. right now. So I would say what's that fight was in no Sean, that was perfect timing. That fight was in 2019. Mm-hmm. So that's five years ago. Uh-huh. Uh so yeah, 30 years old. And the other thing I want to remind timing. everybody about, because I thought about this too. He did that tournament. And then after the tournament, he wasn't able to continue working. And, and he had mm-hmm. he had like two. Two very long laws in his mm-hmm. career. Did he did he go a whole year without fighting yeah, twice? From uh, Red Chat Catch to Red Catch. McKenna. Hey, it was about a year. Ivan Red Catch. Yep. That was about a year. And then did he have another law at some point? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Nothing too crazy like that. Yeah, nothing too Not crazy. To oh, the jo- Josh Taylor. Okay. Josh Taylor, after the Josh Taylor fight, he a year off. Okay. And then, yep. And then he fought. Uh yeah, for six months, then took another year off basically. So yeah, you it was almost back to back years, like you said. Yeah, uh, and that has an effect, especially again. I mean, I could preach this to y'all all day and all night. Fighters that fight based off of talent and athleticism and timing, that's the first thing to go. Mm-hmm. I'm telling y'all, man. It's, I said the same thing about Deshaun Watson. Y'all got to go on over <laughs> to my social media. Hey, so I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, damn, it's like the I'll, game. No, nah, I'm watching oh, the, oh, fight the fight last fight. night. Okay, gotcha. Uh, well, yesterday, uh, and I'm like, damn, Regis' body can't do what Regis wanted to do anymore. Mm-hmm. And I always funny when you talk about this. It's like your mind knows, but your body can't react. Like yeah. the defense, Regis couldn't get out of the way from certain punches. Yeah. And it was just really stressful watching him fight. So I'm just like, you know, I always, I mean, he was one of those guys, but, you know, it, it might be that time. But it's hard It's hard for people to walk away. Shout out to your one boy that was always in your camp. That uh, you talking about uh, Hunt, Hank Lundy, time. you talking about, right? Hank is still fighting. <laughs> and I've heard Hank mention he's retired at least three times. At honest. least three times. At least. Hank I look up, guy. I'm watching, see somebody else fight. Yeah. And I say... And the in the cold main Hank Lundy, I'm like, come on, Hank. But shout out to Hank Lundy. Listen, like, that's a real dude right there. And yeah, and um, you know, anxiety is a real thing that that we all uh, experience at some point in life. I felt like it was anxiety getting the best of him last mm. night. He started throwing some punches, like big shots, and yeah. swinging and missing. Yeah, yeah. Remember the one time he swung yeah, and missed? He goes yeah. down, yeah. and it takes him a while to get up. Beyond the punch. The ones that you missed, those are the ones that fatigue you. Beyond him being fatigued, I felt like as he was down there getting up, it was anxiety, man. I felt like he he felt like the fight was getting away from him, and it started to get the best of him. You know what I mean? So, it's almost like sometimes as a trainer, when you see stuff like that, you come in the corner. We don't talk about nothing else but getting you relaxed. Yeah. Hey, just calm down. Just yeah. close your eyes. Yeah. Just calm down. We ain't gonna talk. No, we ain't yeah. gonna discuss the round. Quarterback throw interception. That's the first thing the coach say when he go to the sidelines, right? Is he fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> uh, hey, we don't need the Browns to win right? no more this year. Right. No, it ain't right. No. No. Y'all threw a pick or something today or something? When when the quarterback, I said uh, a quarterback. I didn't say the Browns quarterback. Okay, Shout out right, to cool. Jameis Winston. But when a quarterback throws an interception, does he does he come off the, the field and the coach say, what the hell are you doing? Or you say, calm it down. Shout out to my boy, Chris uh, Craig Canfield, the coach, I mean, the OC of Bishop Gorman. 
Probably the greatest OC in the country. Oh, yeah. Uh, he don't play it. He rips your ass. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> he yeah, ain't yeah, 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 he don't. He what the fuck it. was you looking at, motherfucker? <laughs> I'd be like, but, and I'm it. used to you being like, hey, come here, calm down, because we need you on the next play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach Canfield don't care nothing about that. Yeah. He rips your ass. <laughs> I told him I need him to stay around so he can coach my kid. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, yeah, usually they do. Yeah. Hey, calm down, man. Yeah. Breathe. Yeah. Let it go, because you know you need him right back. Yeah. And it's like, we know we need you in the next round. Yeah. Every fighter is different. Every fight is different. And, you know, you got to fit the, mo- the 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 moment. Um, hearing him say that he was thinking about doing a, a bare knuckle after the... Did you hear that? No, nah, but I know he wanted to get All less right. rounds, so... Yeah, he said bare knuckle. I said... Oh, I know I got a video you doing playing with alligators, so I know you're crazy enough to do that. Shout out to Regis. Yeah, man. Shout out yeah, to Regis yeah, get, program, get the bare man. Bare going. Do, do... I mean, you know, I believe the sports are worse than worse. You can train... Be around sport of boxing. You got the knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He'll be fine. Um, Again, I want to give Regis some love, too. Go back and look at his body work, especially through the uh, the lightweight um, uh, or uh, junior. The, um, lightweight? The, yeah, the lightweight. Super um, light. What the uh, weight? Yeah. The um, tournament that he that he was in. I mean, he, he practically ran through that tournament. And, you know, I think that. We saw his peak back then, and also that Josh Taylor fight. Obviously, mm-hmm. in, the, in the losing effort to Josh Taylor, he comes back um, to have a, a, a pretty good career after the loss to Josh Taylor. 